And good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 6, I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. New at 6, the Phoenix Police Department has created a website so that anyone can view videos and read reports from incidents spotlighted by the Department of Justice investigation. Tonight, 12 News journalist Sean Rice is digging into the report to see how many cases caught the eye of the DOJ, but that the Phoenix Police never investigated. Sean? And Mark and Kariba, the Department of Justice included 132 incidents in their scathing investigation of the Phoenix Police Department, including allegations of excessive use of force, disregarding people's protected speech, or arresting people who were experiencing homelessness. In 43 of those cases, Phoenix Police found their officers were within policy, but in 47 cases, the Police Department didn't investigate at all. And tonight, we are showing you one of those cases police never investigated. Using excessive force, unlawfully detaining, ticketing, and arresting homeless people, discriminating against Black, Hispanic, and Indigenous people in its policing enforcement. It's a few of the findings the Department of Justice made in their report this summer, accusing Phoenix police of having a pattern and practice of unconstitutional policing. In this new website, the city of Phoenix has identified 120 incidents mentioned in the scathing DOJ report. 48 of those have been found to be within policy, and 17 were found to not be within policy after internal reviews by the department. Calm down. I like how you chose to do this after your handcuffs. You're tough, dude. In one incident, Phoenix Police's use of force came into question when they bound a man's hands and feet together with a corded restraint. The man, who was accused of assaulting someone at a group home, told officers he couldn't breathe as he lay in a prone position with an officer's knee on the back of his neck. After several minutes, the officers then carry the man out of the home face down and place him into a patrol car with his hands and feet still hogtied. I can't tell you right now. Jeez. On the way to jail, the man claimed he couldn't breathe and began throwing up on himself. The DOJ report accuses Phoenix police of violating their policies by placing him in this type of restraint, leaving him face down in his own vomit on the way to jail. Through DOJ's investigation, they found that this position can inhibit someone's breathing and is dangerous for people who may be on drugs or alcohol. This is just one incident where Phoenix police say they did not investigate whether the officer's actions did or did not violate their policies. Their use of force policies were updated back in 2023. Phoenix police did not answer our questions whether any of the 47 incidents in the report that weren't investigated will at all be reopened. Now today in a statement, Phoenix Police Chief Michael Sullivan says the body camera videos and reports they released are important for the community to see and also helps the department be one that can both self-assess and self-correct any prior actions. The city of Phoenix has not said whether or not they plan to enter into an agreement with the Department of Justice. Sean Rice, 12 News.